Hi friends, we're going to read a book today called The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. Eric Carle did another book you know. He's the author of this book. Do you guys remember this book? Huh. Do the pictures look the same? Does it look like he was painted by the same person? Maybe as you're looking at this book, you can see the sim things that are similar. The Grouchy Ladybug. It, it was nighttime and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up and a friendly ladybug flew in from the left. And it saw a leaf with aphids on it. Aphids are like little tiny butterflies. And decided that, to have them for breakfast. And just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted to eat them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye, and the grouchy ladybug stepped back, and it looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Well, then why don't you go pick on somebody bigger? I'm going to do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you, and it puffed up and flew away. And look, this ladybug's a brow. That's a grouchy, grouchy, grouchy grumpy one. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. That's like a bee. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Do you want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket. And the yellow jacket showed the bug its big stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and went flying off. At seven o'clock, he saw a stag beetle. Hey, you, grouch, said the grouchy ladybug. Do you want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening up its big jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the ladybug, and flew off. Oh, I would be so scared of that big pinchers on that bug. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Do you want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its big, long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew away. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a bird. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Do you want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And the grouchy ladybug flew away. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy la ladybug. Do you want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching out its claws. Oh, you are not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew away. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. You. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Do you want to fight? I, if you insist, said the skunk, as it started to lift up its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew away. Oh, goodness, I would run from a skunk, too. P.U. At 12 noon, it spotted a... Oh, I think we're missing a page because it says a boa constrictor, and that is definitely not a boa constrictor. That is a monkey. At 3 o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Do you want to fight? 
if you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, do you want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing the big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew away. Well, how much bigger does it want to get? At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, do you want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You are not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. Have you noticed as the book gets, he talks about finding something bigger, the words are getting bigger? That's interesting. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to the one of the whale's flippers, Do you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it just kept flying. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's other fin, Hey, do you want to fight? And it got no answer, and it kept flying. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, do you want to what fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug a big, giant slap. And the ladybug flew across the sea and in across the land. Oh, look, see, there it goes. It's flying through the air. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived by back where it had started from. Oh, there you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You have to be hungry now. There are some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and very hungry ladybug. See, now they've decided they're nice. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. Oh, see? If you're just nice, people will be nice right back to you, huh? Bye-bye.